Uh, oh my god, I was muted that whole time. I'm stupid. Oh my god, I'm stupid. <laughs> oh my god, I feel dumb. Like, oh my god, I, I pulled a stupid. I have never. Oh god, I. Oh god, I, I, I feel so dumb right now. I read all of that, and I'm a, I'm just. I pulled a stupid today. All right, let's get to the fucking mess. Oh my god, I, 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 I embarrassed myself today. That was just. Oh my god. I don't think I could, like, embarrass myself any further than I did. And then it's just like, hey, yeah. But, yeah, I just did. That Mistress Uzumaki, I see, of course, you are ever welcome in the Alpha's Nest, yet I do believe I do not know your companion. Indeed, whispers of the Temple Knight's humiliations have reached even us. Falling asleep while well, on I dare not believe the stories, but it seems there was some truth in them after all. They fell asleep, true, but it wasn't their fault. We suspect they fell victim to an enemy wielding a powerful artifact. Now the rumors failed to mention anything like that. If they can well even train warriors to sleep, then we must treat it as a serious threat. Nevertheless, if one night falls, another is always ready to take the place. So long as this artifact cannot put an entire regiment under its belt, I believe we are well positioned to combat it. Interesting. The idea of your allies falling in battle doesn't seem to disturb you at all. Where I help from a single warrior is responsible for the safety of his entire village. Make no mistake. We do not doubt our allies now, and we mourn every loss. Yet each man and woman here knows that if they must quit the battle, another sword just as fierce will take their place. To know that an ally is at your back. It would allow you to fight with the bandit. Now, you believe this lion fine might have might take interest in our activities at Gorge Gorgon Mills, yes? Our party has already left, accompanied by a group of temple knights. If your suspicions are correct and they are at risk, I would ask you to follow in the tracks and serve they do not found fall to foul play. We can do that. We have to reach them before Athena does. get what her idea is like I still say she's just testing the relic to see how big of a uh, range she could have on it but hmm. I'm wondering Uh, 
Like truly being against them. Telemocritors. We're too late. The fastest lane. But Redwall gave the impression they were more. These knights must have been the lookouts. We should wake them, but keep eyes peeled for the I'll rise these ones, you go look for the others. You think the fear you arrived when you did. Those thugs snunk. struck when our backs were turned. I assumed the Temple Knights were protecting the entrance, so I wasn't as cautious as I should have been. Were, were they killed? No, simply knocked unconscious. I've heard stories, of course, but I didn't think they were true. Whoever is behind this, I'm sure they did count on you showing them. For now, we shall tend to our wounds and then finish our inspection here. Richard's mocking. I'm asked that you join the knights outside and wait till we're finished here.
Ah. As I thought, just when I was becoming bored, I sighted a familiar face among these smuggling nights. I simply had to come and make sure it was you. You finally found the courage to sell yourself. And over the cradle now, and I won't kill you. And what did they call you? The Wide Eye. You must have quite a journey to come this far. Be careful, Naruto. This is our quarry. The thief who stole the cradle of the sleepless. This. It's Leo Fun. That is your alley? What flea ridden candle do you rescue them from? Are you sure they do not seek your artifact for themselves? I have no need for it. <laughs> I don't sleep anyway. Sleep is for the weak. It matters not, I suppose. Before you throw your lives away, I suggest you think is the cause you fight for worth the sacrifice? So few of us know true freedom. If there is all you would grasp with your own hands, do so before they wither and your eyes suffer for the last time. The code and rules that would blind men are mere illusions. Open your Truly open them and you will see a path all your own. Okay, are we just quoting the song Open Up Your Eyes from My Little Pony? Really? Are we quoting that song now? Like, literally, I think there's been a quote for songs in almost every one of these quests. A, a song quote in every one of these quests only a fool would waste their life in the struggle of another quit spouting nonsense nonsense perhaps I am here because of another after all Apaya who came to me at the height of my debauchery and welcomed me into her devious brotherhood so you got me to great power, yes. And now I lead others upon the unbound path. Yet truth be told, I have little interest in seeing where it ends. To wear down the world's mason is God's anointing. I serve the world in too well. What <laughs> does it matter? Yet I do divide great pleasure in saving the temple knights. And seeing the snickering and jeers to put their pompous strides as they walk down the streets. If this artifact can hasten their fall from grace, I shall keep it. I know the path I want, and the one that leads to your downfall. I won't abandon it. Let's take the crazy back. And then I'll... Oh dear, you seem to have lost your train of thought. I know you cannot hear me, but you have to feel me for me. When I'm asleep, the concern the burden is passed to you. That opportunity may not come for some time yet. Well, I feel absolutely transcendent. To think the shackles of fatigue weigh so heavy. Alas, it appears the artifact means its own place to search, no matter. I've learned more than you have to take my next step. You do this. The dislock is disposed of. Tis the least you can do for the freedom I have given you. Well, you just sent these three to their deaths.
Come on. Gotta slap him around a little bit. Try as you might, Tara, he seems completely detached from the waking world. Like you saved us twice today. Thank you. But what of him? Fast asleep, just as we were. Could this be what warned us from court? I see. And those stories are more than just wicked rumors. I suppose some small comfort in the fact that our enemy tipped their hand without causing loss of life. All the drowsiness made my eyes heavy, my ears could not mistake arrogant voice. I see. Go up to attack former comrades Nora. Then she has fallen further than I had dared imagine. Yet we bear the blame for allowing her to get the upper hand, and in doing so, putting innocent lives in danger. Another black mark on our order. This only thanks to you and your companions. Effort that the snow was not staying red this day, at the very least, allow us to carry him to the congregation. Our work here is done. We shall go accompany them as far as Alchemist. Now, to pray return to Isgard and look, and look after your friend. Okay. Time to return to Ace Guard. That is That is a thing. But then again, I don't blame him for falling asleep. He's been awake for ten years. Full glad I am to see you well, Mistress Richmond. I understand you come fresh from an encounter with none other than the bonus. Master Tenawa now rests on the second floor. We shall have the individual by his side every moment until he opens his eyes again. But he should not have long to wait. But if you wish to check on him, please do so at your leisure. There is another matter to discuss. Just before your departure to Gongdage Mills, it seems there was another incident. A group of criminals were released from their cells. Their guards found in a deep slip. Doubtless, Leah was behind this. And doubtless, the ruffians you crashed with were the same cr self criminals. Leah was just gathering those who bear a grudge against the Temple Knights to her side and using this animosity to her advantage. Now, this is a Saturday morning villain right here. The rest were just clowns. Clowns without any kind of plan or anything really. This woman is actually thinking. I'm liking her. She's, out of all of them so far, she's actually has somewhat of a villain strategy. It's a Saturday morning villain strategy, but a strategy better than just Team Rocket's blasting off again. We now know for certain that Leo is the mastermind of these attacks, 
and it is her aim to chip away at the very foundation of the Temple Knights, our honor. When I shared these revelations with my superiors, this decided that none would speak publicly of the artifacts and its powers. The passage of the Unbound seeks to overthrow the nations of the world. One obvious method to achieve this goal would be to stoke the flames of unrest amongst the common folk, thus sinking Isgard into a mirror of mire of chaos and distrust, not unlike the blasphemies of the final days. So long as these failures are purely on the soldiers of the Temple Knights, we can avoid fomenting a more abiding mistrust in the nation's very court. For it's God's peace, I would gladly suffer any disgrace. The question remains as to whether we can apprehend Leo before she tears our representations to tatters. While Master falls to us to search for clues that might point towards her whereabouts. Let's go see him. on the second floor. But I'm also looking forward to next week and tomorrow. Next week is... I don't think that's him. Up oh, there he is. Completely knocked unconscious. Time to get back to work then. Leo remains as lucid as ever. As she's in league with this guy's more unsavory element, she could be hidden anywhere. We only have we only ah we have only her cryptic statements to guide us. It seems that whenever her plan is whatever her plan is, her actions thus far has been but a prelude to the climate. We can but hope that it awakens before she emerges again. Naruto, there you are. I'm so glad I found you. I was starting to think I was in the wrong, in the wrong city, but no, all of that isn't true. Oh, you must be the maiden. You hail from the same village, yes? I am far out of the Temple Nice. It is an honor to meet you. Ah, there's a little about you as well. I am Lorenz the Lorenzi Kawiki Kiwi Lords Jim Kawi. I am butchering that name and I'm sorry. And the honor is all mine. If Tina no what? With you? I haven't received a letter from him sometimes, so I came here to check on him myself. He got hit with the totem. You insufferable fool. What have I told you about rushing ahead without thinking? Now you have even the gall to be sleeping when I arrive. You promise you write me. What was I supposed to do when the letter stopped coming? I was so worried. At least I could take some small comfort that he appears otherwise unharmed. I take it. You have to thank for that, Naruto. I'm 
the only one stay awake forever by sheer force of will. The answer is the same, although we can deny ourselves food and drink, sleep is another matter. It always finds us in time. That's one truth that I, uh, I have to say is true. And to rouse oneself from slumber this deep is impossible, even for someone like why? Do you know what? Sleep so solid. The reports of other incidents indicate that those affected awoke from mad So Well, that, I'm sorry, I can't say for certain. But I do know the stories of those who came before me. More than one said I had fallen asleep into a sleep. One so absolute that they became deaf to the outside world. With no means to sustain their bodies, they would waste away but the long. So our people found a mixture of herbs and materials to help us or the sun back into the waking world. What could possibly be strong enough to be from this? We call it spring dew, and the secrets of its making are passed down through generation. Each shrub acts as a ray of sunshine in the darkest sleep, a beacon for the dreamer to follow. I carry some of the ingredients on my person, but others must be gathered fresh. It won't be an easy task, but I'm certain it will sleep. I don't know their nausea names, but one of the flower blooms is a striking yellow. grows only where mountain peaks soar above the clouds, being so close to the heavens, it drinks in the sunlight and its petals cleanses the body and promotes an attorney mist. Blooms a yellow flower called the Dandelion. In no other place in New York can one be closer to touching the sun. Good. Next, we'll meet the survivor of these we call mobiles. And the thicker it is, the better the pungent odor can wake even the dead. Uh, I know them well. <laughs> Morbles have, are not an uncommon sign in their only intense lines. A mature specimen should possess, possess the saliva with the desired effects. The prospect of gathering uh, is an unenviable <laughs> task. Uh, once we have those two ingredients, mixing them with the rest to be simple. Do you think you can procure them, Naruto? Lay them to me. Oh, your confidence is reassuring. Since the mobile saliva must be fresh of the, of the two, I ask you first to go in, into the heavens to pick dandelion to uh, My job as the warrior of light started out as a fetch quest. My job as the warrior of light will end with fetch quests. It will not end in a climactic battle that takes my life. No, I will be delivering some kind of food or stuff. <laughs> that is what's going on. That is the future of all Warriors of Light. It's a sad fact, but it is one that we must adapt to. Coming back to this place when I'm like double the level is just like, holy crap. You don't really think about it because it's just like... You don't usually come back to these areas unless it's like story mission or you have to hunt down a material. But it's just like, there's that thing of like, I used to be here often because
Yeah. Like you were used to be here as a level 50, now you come back as a level 100. Like, it's just like, holy crap. Where did the time go? Where? Father, time gives me back the years that have passed. I feel old. I feel ancient. Like, I've been with this game for so long. I've, it was a 10 year journey, and it's just like. I have finished that journey now, and it's just like, you go back to all those areas, and it's just like, holy crap, am I old. And for some of the older and like, more popular streamers, it's just like, hey, yeah, th th that thing, it's just like, yeah, this used to be that thing back then, and it's just like, midlife crisis, anyone? But in all realness, this is, coming back to these areas, this is, Classes right now. But don't worry, I will have up to date gear on all my classes eventually. I'm ready to start making the ingredients this one. That is, of course, something we brought them with you. I pulled them from the infinite bag of holding. These are so difficult. These are difficult to acquire at the best of time. So thank you for gathering them so quickly. I said it's very amazing. Well, we've done all we can. Now we wait for it to, to open his eyes. We enjoy sleeping the days away. I'm glad you're finally awake. What are you doing here? I see. So Leo wielded the cradle against me while I was tucked silently in bed. Came all this way. Curse my weakness! Just when we had her, just when I was needy the most, I failed. For ten years I endured countless trials, and when the time came, I couldn't even swing my damn weapon. 
It's not your fault, Tanamara. If anyone's to blame for what happened, it's me. No, I won't hear it. As you may know, Leo won our trust by posing as a scholar traveling the width and breadth of Toral. She expressed great interest in the cradle and our custom, and I was so excited to meet an outsider that I answered her every question. I told her that the wide eye keeps the cradle with them at all times, and that seed hatch, hatched her plans. She took me often to draw out tender wire. And while Lozans was sleeping, Leo struck, knocked into her chamber, and held a blade to her throat. I had no choice but to give her what she wanted. The cradle was sleepless. I put Lorenzo's life before the future of her people. It was at that moment I became unfit to be their guardian. Thank you, Narja. You know just what to say. That was the only way to see a future where none of my people come to harm. Even without the creator, you're still our guardian. My guardian. And we will find. Oh, now we're quoting Destiny! <laughs> it's like, even without the creator, you're still my. I uh, still our guardian. My guardian! <laughs> we'll find a way through this together. High spirits will smile. Oh, and before I forget, you trounced thugs while I was treating yourself, didn't you? I owe you a debt I won't soon forget. And I'll wager that debt will grow larger before we try the treasure from Leo's clutches, but whatever it takes, I won't stop until she answers for her crime. sleeping, I dreamed. I saw as I and I as children. Nothing particularly interesting happened. We just while the days away without a care in the world. I forgot him once like a dream. It was pleasant. I can remember wanting to favor him with my eyes again. But, uh, but of course the moment I gave forward that thought. I hope it did. was there. And even if we get the trail back, will things return to the way they were? Will you go back to spending your life in dreams? I suppose so. It's my duty as the shut eye, I feel. Your duty. And it was your duty too. It compelled you to come all that way. 
appeared to Edgewood. But no more. What are you saying? I tried so hard to convince myself that you were glad spending so much time asleep, but on the other side made me realize I was lying to myself all along. I don't want to return to a life where you and I are bound together, but always so far apart. I want to go back to those happy days when we were at by each other's sides. I guess what I'm saying is, if there's a different path for us, I want to find it and I want to talk it with, walk it with you. Well, we could always go the common rider method, um, common rider dragon knight. Basically, you have maybe, I'm going to say what, four pairs? And you switch them out every ten years? Like, one pair is, like, doing the active shut eye, open eye thing, while the other pair, three pairs, live their lives. After ten years, they switch out, and it just keeps going like that, back, forth, back, forth, back, forth. But that's just my opinion. But not yet. First, we can play the cradle, and when we have... We'll take our first steps towards that new future, I promise. I must confess, I have felt the same since I woke up. Oh, I don't. I was in bed for a while, but instead of feeling fresh, my body feels weaker somehow. It's almost as if my very strength was yet when the treasure was turned on me. I can't even grip my weapon properly. Does that mean the crater has powers we don't know about? Not exactly. It just it may just mean the crater works differently than we thought. It's really may not pass. Might not pass on the fatigue, but rather they absorb another vigor. The end effect will be the same. The crater really can go on without sweetie. And the victim loses the strength to even keep their eyes open. You never took more than you did, so my son was always light enough to awake from. But if the treasure was used without restraint, if we had if we had this realization, it won't be long until Leo does too, and then it won't be too late. We have to root her out. But I must have lost a headline. As Leo and Lorenza could wait, never t tired of telling me, I feel nearly, nearly weak as a child right now. I must spend what precious time we have training to regain what strength Leo stole from me. You have my word. I won't rest until I'm top form again. I suggest you do the same. And for no other reason than to give me some stiff competition. And that's the 96. So we got what? Maybe 97, 98, and then 100. Oh, we're going straight into 98. Okay. You're looking strong, Naruto. Well, I'm not my old self yet. I'm feeling better by the day. Still, there's much work to be done. I need to do even better than I was before if we're to have any hope of catching Leo. I wonder, what's he 
party with the rest of her cohort. We know they aim to topple Mason around the world, but this is an obvious for battle, don't you think? Well, I haven't heard of these in Asgard getting any farther than the 10 minutes. We called the that same question. Our best guess is was that she was a formal gentle knight herself. She chose them because she knows how to exploit her weaknesses. She's using her knowledge as a weapon. We need to equip ourselves likewise. If we can learn more about her, we might be able to anticipate her move next week. Good plan. But I admit I have no idea where to start. So we ask Rogenberg? I already have. He says that while he never knew her personally, the knights in her old squad might be able to set some light onto her past. Some of them even now patrol the city, and Philbert was a great help in telling me where they might be. You've been busy, Rosina. Well, I can't remember the last time I was awake this long. I didn't want to sit around until I got tired again. And we'll battle all for it. Since you gathered the information, it's only fitting I could do the right work. Just tell me where these knights are and I'll go speak with them. Gladly, but Iskard is still an unfamiliar city for the both of us, right? Although Thumba told me where to go, the names of these places mean nothing to me. Luckily, we have Naruto to guide you. You'll go with Tinwell, won't you? I know we can count on you. All right, let's take care of these locations. Being forced to work with someone like Leo isn't a fate I would envy. I'm curious to hear what these men have to say about her. Hopefully, they provide some insight, and I hope that it's for it. I will help guide for it. Time is a BS encounter, let's get in. Oops. Oh man, this quest is making me tired. Depending on if this sleep catches up to me. Now this is where I'm here. What business could the savior of this god have to come to me? You wanna know about the real? Well means sometimes common stuff that she's different stuff. But she became real as being in the club. He says she often made mock of this bad custom and the responsibility to the bad that down the conduct of the friend. That was too young for freedom all her life, or her idea of it, anyway. Although her deeds caused her to be expelled from the Temple of Knights, and summarily strip of her title, she may have actually desired that outcome. But she hated it so much that all she had to do was leave. I, and I hear she did be, for a time at least. Now she's in league with a group that aims to plunge the world into chaos. It's as if a selfish heart like Leo 
was sought out to aid in this plot, I started to imagine how wicked their leader must be. But, trust me, the other two I took out were Saturday, were not even Saturday morning villains. They are no threat to the world peace. C is at, C is probably the first that is actually a threat to the world peace. While well, the other two had like plans that could be threatening, their personalities were more Team Rocket based. I'm asking what, so forgive me if I don't engage in our two chat. Leo, for her? I can spare him on that. I don't suppose you know why she doesn't spell for me to the night, do you? While few were her equal in swordplay, and he would still handle the amount with such grace, she often spent her nights carousing in the gambling hall. It was after such a night that she fell asleep while on duty. Some may call it a cool twist of play, but dragons attacked her charges as she slept and they were left defenseless. In her negligence, she was deemed to have aided our ancestral foes and thus was stripped of her knighthood and noble title both. Fall asleep on duty, a story that they will become all too familiar. And given what happened, I have no doubt she came to fear sleep. Yet now she has conquered that weakness and she works as a weapon against us. She may even believe herself to be on the reach of more danger. Yet she's only believing herself. And in time, so we may have an answer for her. Well, the thing is, you need to call. Mm -hmm. 
Leo and her genius, maybe. We're just too dense to see how her actions would start to collapse. Given that her group seems relatively uh, few in number, and assault on this one was not a great thing, rather, acting playing to chip away at the people's trust in Lula. It's God's foundation, and by the absence of a few minor bricks, brings the whole nation coming down. Though the dog gets worried, even down representatives from Iskar are preparing to visit Oki Zaldu in the city of Cloud. The game will be going on. It will be a previous film to Iskar's education. As we saw in the balcony, there are certain elements that oppose our nation to many gestures as a chance to start conflict, dealing with Christian development, and the loop. <laughs> the war commander, I take it, is the leader of the Temple Rank. Offensive highs of the world from the infancy. Given the Timonite warning and the racism, it's clear that this designation uh, Okay. Finally, we have to know if we use against the enemy. And I'm falling asleep in the controller right now, so... Uh, how long have I been going? I've been going hours. Normally I would go longer than this, but I'm falling asleep in the controller. I don't know if it's just this quest that makes me sleepy, or it's just I did not get a full night's sleep last night, so. Ooh. Tomorrow we're going to. We'll go up and this quest and. Hopefully. I don't know why I'm so tired though. Maybe I have more energy than this, but it's just like, oh man. Maybe it's just I need to get some gap feeding. And then I'll be good. So after this quest, I'm going to take a break, get me some caffeine in my system, and see if that changes anything. You are ever welcome at the congregation, Naruto. I am well apprised of Leo's wicked deed, and your efforts to fluster out have been very much appreciated. And this must be Master Tura, who crossed the ocean from parole. I hope you recover from your ordeal. I'm better than ever. Apologies for taking up one of your beds for so long. Please, no apologies are necessary. On the contrary, the Temple Knights yet owe you a debt for all you've done. Which brings us to the purpose of the list. You have something to discuss with me? Blah, 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 blah. I have, I see. You and and I have the same doubt. The dedication to Okazodo would be an obvious target for Leo, and I was recently debating the wisdom of moving forward with our plans. As you know, all of Iskar falls under the protection of the Temple Knight. As such, it is only neat that we maintain the strength and friendly relations with our neighbors. 
The dedication in question is tasked with deepening mutual understanding of each of our unique cultures. Sonu Vanu Chief, uh, Sonu Vanu Chief of the Zondo was most eager to host. Yet so long as the factor of Leo hangs over our order, I fear visits abroad are unwise. Should any of the Vanu Vanu come to harm, our relations would be damaged ir irreparably. As we have no way of knowing if Leo has caught wind of our plans, I am of mind that postponing the delegation may be the most proof course of action for the safety of all. That's right, Naruto and I won't let anyone come to harm. And so long as you warn the Vanu Vanu in advance, they should hold the actions of the rogue against you. If they truly are allies, they will see the wisdom in your judgment. Please, send the degradation as planned. It will be our best chance to Captain Leo. Yes, your words have merit. Thank you for the sage counsel. You're right. The Zadu would not stand idly by while we suffer at Neo's hands. In fact, the fellowship between our two peoples was forged when a god sailed their home and was brought by the great hero, Naruto. If we tell the Zadu that you keep watch over the proceedings, then I am certain all doubts shall be quelled. Then you'll proceed. Indeed. The time has come for you Templars to reclaim our honor and go on the counteroffensive. I shall bring the suggestion of a joint operation against the Lord to Lord Commander as soon as possible. Thank you. Together we will put a stop to her scheme. I must First, discuss matters with the others involved before we present, present a plan to Lord Commander. Although time is of the essence, I ask that you wait till our course is settled. Such people so far apart. The world really is very surprising. Even a single city is enough you know, for a life. Every day I hear something, it gives me peace. But the story of the world is terrible. Generations of animosities and animosities between dragon and man that somehow ended in a rekindled fellowship. I imagine a whole world. A world where there will be no need for protection. The wide eye watches not only the monsters in the wilderness, but our neighbors as well. We barely even can see the same devotees that fire us in the space. And the cold snap here seems worse as everyone struggling just to survive. Our every thought goes towards the same thing that still sleeping. But if we can only encounter with, with wariness, there's no hope for the future to change. No. 
no hope to build trust if only there was a way to break the distance between us and keep them all our hands. But maybe that's just a silly thing. Either, maybe, either way, it's a beautiful thought. I'm glad you think so. I'll hold that future in mind as I get back to training. As for you now, I'll get some rest. If you fall asleep when I need you know, I'll wake you up with a knock to the head. Okay, so this next question is probably a hundred. Yep. So I'll be right back. I need to get some caffeine in me and something to keep me awake so I can do a little roll quest after this one. So I shall be back. And we'll return after this short break.
And we're back. Let's get to it. Sir, handle still hasn't sent word. I guess the others might not be so enthusiastic about our plan. To them, the cradle of the sleepless is now still something to be feared. No matter how much faith they have in our strength, you be you'll be at Leo's mercy if she puts you to sleep. Honestly, I don't blame them. Not even I imagined our treasure could be used for such evil. In Leo's hands, it's no more than an indiscriminate weapon. But that... That means when we get back, we can turn it into something else. Something no one's ever thought of before. We can find a way to use it without forcing someone to spend their life in slumber. Of course I agree with you today. Well, but we have more pressing men, namely a rogue knight to capture and treasure to recover. <laughs> right, sorry, I got ahead of myself. Apologies for keeping you waiting for so long. The temple lights have finally reached a decision concerning the delegation to the Sea of Clouds. <coughs> and what have you decided? I'm pleased to say that the Zanu, Zadu have agreed to join forces with us. Together, we shall drive back Leo's should she attack. If her shadow darkens even an elm of the homeland, our peaceful delegation shall turn into a fighting force at a moment's notice. We shall restore the Temple of Night's reputation and recover your artifact in one fell swoop. Thank you, Hanok. We promise to do our part if Leo souls herself, so you won't get away this time. We have but to hammer out the final details. Once we are ready to depart, the first group of knights shall leave by airship. I would ask you both to make your way to o Oko Zudu as, you, as soon as possible so you may help plan our strategy. I'm coming to you. I can heal your wounds, and if it comes to it, my staff can bruise, can bruise as well as a club. <laughs> I'm glad to have you with us. I'm done taking on the world alone. I need you, friends, and Naruto too. We're stronger together than we ever could be apart. The cradle was never. The cradle never would have been stolen if I realized that from the beginning. And I want you by my side to ensure I don't forget it. Well then, we better be off. I'm keen to meet this chief, Sonovano. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's go. Sorry it took me so long to get some. I had to look for the drinks. Like, my wife's been trying to get me off of the caffeine. And I'm just like, but I need it. I need the caffeine. The caffeine is in my blood. It's a part of my blood. at this point but um for all intents purposes i am awake now i'm feeling much refreshed much more alive so let's continue onward with this and hopefully get to at least another quest i wonder what quest i'm going to do next i have no idea though 
honored netherlings. Your return to Okanzando is a welcome as the arrival of spring. Sono knows why you've come. Wicked hearts seek to bring chaos to our home. And so Zandu shall rise to its defense if needed. As the sun rays chase away the shadows of night, the sun drop dance shall I shall keep the tendrils of sleep at bay. Chief Sonovano, it's an honor to meet you. I am Tenawa, and if this sundrop dance is as vigorous as you say, I'd love to see her for myself. The Zandu shall dance before Isgard's warriors upon their arrival. Brave Tenawa is welcome to join the proceedings. That was your original intent, right? I see. If we were to draw Leo out, it will make sense to pretend like nothing is amiss. Sandu warriors unified their strength through Shondrop dance, and sight is so fearsome that many choose to flee rather than fight. Netherland warriors may learn from such an approach. Breaking the enemy's spirit avoids needless bloodshed. Yet all dancers must hone their skill before wild animals first, that the sun drop dance does not fail them at close crucial moments. It is for that reason our dancers await at the outskirts of Okinzandu for the Netherlings' arrivals. When the performance begin, it shall draw the attention of all like a rolling cloud over the horizon. Watch carefully for any who would take advantage of that moment. After dance is finished, Netherlings will present the Zanu with Tisano. Netherlings ships appear in skies like sudden sun shower, hurling towards Earth. Swiftly it descends, crashing down near ship markings are its guardian. Zandu on her. But wounded netherlings pour from vessel. Like a lightning bolt in the night. <laughs> the Temple Knights were coming by airship, right? Wait. She saw right through us, and now we're on the back foot. Great winds can alter even raging rivers course. What matters is to stand strong and move forward. And now we must offer aid to Netherlands, who come as guests. Right, let's go. All right, time for the 100 quest. If this is the work of the cradle, Leo can't be far. We must tend to the wounded, but I won't let her escape again. This ends today, one way or the other. Let's do it. There you are, Leo. You came all this way just to greet me? Oh, I'm honored. I only hope my gift was satisfactory. Just the same, you will not see Isgard crumble. Alas, I can scarcely suffer rats to scurry about my feet, threatening to gnaw away at my carefully laid plans. At least you bear witness to the dying breath of the knight's flagged honor. We would sooner see the wicked Airship soar again than their reputation return to its former glory. Yet even I did not foresee the Zondu would be in the... The fury favors me, for who now would trust a nation so 
careless as the the neighbors at risk. Everyone knows you're behind this. People won't turn on each other so easily. Oh, I didn't see either, said I. Wide awake, doubly honored I am that you came all this way just to meet your end. Enough. We're taking the cradle back. We won't let your evil continue any longer. Such bold words. If I recall correctly, your people reaped great benefits from power. All the cause of someone's waking life. Your life. Pray, do not misunderstand me. This was not to be meant to be a denouncement of your people. On the contrary, they have my most utmost respect. We are bound by our very nature. No matter how mighty we become, we are slaves to the whims of sleep. Yet this artifact can sunder those shackles and grant true freedom. It makes its wielder stronger and their enemies weak. A perfect weapon, if you ask me. I can't say whether using the cradle is right or wrong. I only know that a life lived at the cost of another is no life at all. You're right about one thing. We are bound by our nature. But that doesn't shackle us. It brings us together. Speak, my boy. Preach to the choir. Whether I'm asleep or awake, as long as by my side, that's the life I want. Oh, now we're getting on my scene. Let us take back the cradle together. It's easy. Still exhaust the cradle's power of Temple Knights. This is our chance. <laughs> no plan is without wrinkles, I suppose. Fortunately, I prepare for all contingencies. You had your opportunity to live a quiet life, but I will not give it again. This time I shall send you into a slumber from which you will never awake. Okay, so they're outside, they're fighting inside. Alright boys, come get your juice. Wow, there's so many. Oh well.
this is sad. <laughs> this is a little bit sad. Woman, you done. Oh crap, that was mine. <laughs> oh well, at least he's alive. Keep the healer alive! Does he have a phase two? Well, uh, it begs to be released. World. Oh, great, he has a part two.
Let's send this woman to sleep. The eternal sleep! Get over yourself, drama queen. goes down. Ugh, you stubborn. You may have won today, but this is not over. Yes, it is. And I'm out. No. Say goodnight, Leo. The wide eyes watch eternal, and eternal is the sleep it bestows. Well, I did say we were going to give her the eternal sleep. I just didn't think we were actually going to do it. <laughs> yes, but we have someone else to worry about. Yo, I am unconscious on my gun blade. Get me the cup. Oh, I see would smile at a time like this. I think this is probably the first time that my warrior wife actually did, like, sleep sleep. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, she's awake. And we live. All right. Your work is done, Naruto. You did a commendable job as our sealed, and now you can lay down your burden. It's thanks to your bravery that I was able to deal the final blow to Leo, and with the cradle back in our possession, I think we can consider this expedition across the seas to be a success. The Zelda helped us gather the wounded and see them safely off to Isgard. We couldn't have done it without you. Netherlings protect allies as fiercely as Galecat protects kittens. Zondu are moved by your might. You were equally impressive. I should learn the Sundra dance myself, though I won't try a uh, figure half as fierce as yours. The Zondu have seem to have everything well in hand. I'm a little bit slightly eager to see us. We should return to Isgard as soon as we can. Here's my thing though. I just thought of something. We saw her fall off the edge and we saw the griffin go after her. Do we ever are we ever gonna get confirmation that she died died? Or is that just left up into like left up to us as the character for interpretation. These are the things I'm asking myself and I know I'm never going to get an answer. Uh, and that slightly upsets me because it's like, did she die? Is she in prison? Which one did, which one happened? Ah, the heroes of the day have returned. Thanks to your vow, the threat Leo poses no more. What's more, not a single life was lost. On behalf of the Temple Knights, allow me to express my utmost gratitude to you all. You don't owe me any thanks. After all, it was my fault the crater was stolen in the first place. Ultimately, my fault that your delegation to the... Oh, Okay, Zolo turned into a melee. It may be true that our visit to the Sea of Cloud was far from peaceful, but the bond between Zanu and Diplomats has only deepened through overcoming mutual adversity. Blessings often take indescribable forms. And while we know not whether Leo yet lives, we do know that she can no longer reach the source of her ill-gotten power, so we have little to fear from her. With the crisis behind us, the common folk no longer have aught to fear. We will make known the story of Leo's schemes and the heroes who were to foil, and in time I hope that trust in our order will be restored. The Temple Knights shall continue to build re relations with our neighbors for years to come, Relations would self form the foundations of Isgard's future. We would be honored if we could count you among our allies in this endeavor. Anything you need, simply call upon us and we'll be there. No questions asked. And with that, it's time we return home. It's been an honor. We'll be passing through Tortilla Law. Toriolo on our way back, Naruto. If you have business in those parts, we'd love to speak with you at Zakurai Tora before setting off. See you soon, hopefully. Don't worry, we'll be teleporting back. We're gonna take the quick way. Well, 
we're going to be taking the quick way because we don't have time for this. Okay. Tutorial alone. But I like that quest. That was actually a really good quest. And now we get that jazzy music. Uh, we'll just go here. Narjo, there you are. I was afraid we wouldn't see you before we left. We arrived not long ago, and the praise book of everything that happened. This is the longest I've spent away from our village, but even though Toriolol and Isgard were like entirely different worlds to me, I was only ever treated with kindness. Hmm, is anything the matter to you, Mama? Nothing. It's just something I've been thinking about. Our people have always been self-sufficient. But the Isgardians and the Zanu sold that looking to your neighbor can reveal a way through the harshest difficulties. And you heard the lump. The bond between Isgard and Okuzandu was only made deeper through their shared ordeal to trust another to such a degree, well, I think it's a goal we should all strive towards. We have at least one friend like that, don't we? See who bent her ear to every note of the Nolwell's lullaby without a state of fear in her eyes. Thank you, Naruto. For believing in us, for believing that no matter the outcome, your actions would not be in vain. In doing so, you taught me the worth. Taught me the worth of fighting alongside allies you can trust. Even if your seal breaks, this is not the end. You're right. It's our faith in our allies and their faith in us that gives us the courage to protect each other. But approaching someone with open arms doesn't mean they'll accept you. The relationship between people and our neighbors have been strained by generations of mistrust, and we must take care to mend them properly. If we can do that and learn to look towards the future hand in hand, then there will be no need to use the cradle ever again. People can sleep, dream untroubled, and wake with bright eyes. I want to see those days come to pass. Me too. Then you and I can finally spend more time together. <laughs> right, of course. If we're going to see this future, then we should head back to our village. They'll be overjoyed to see the cradle return. Thank you for everything, Nora. Next time we meet, we may... May we both have good news to share. And that's the fence. So, we're going to probably be able to start at least another one. Okay. This is magical. Excuse me. And you are... We're going to do magical. I don't know why, but I'm feeling a bit magical right now. And my only magical DPS I have leveled up is this one. 
Sano Pag I want the hand cannon I have for Solar Bahamut Especially once I get to Cinder and her thing uh, Power Forgotten Feature Adventurer with a perch Pension for the magical, for the arcane, for the mystical. Let's see. Oh, hello. Did Baruch send you to help recover our stolen treasure? Thank the heavens, and judging by your accountments, you've learned. You're learned in the arcane art, yes? If so, we need of your power and wisdom. Truth be told, it is wisdom that we require most. You see, even though the treasure has been guarded by our people for generations, we know little of its true nature. In ages past, the forests of our homelands will play the terror of the beasts, a constant source of fear and danger. To combat this menace, our mages spent many moons researching the treasure known as the Perch of the Apex. Oh no. I can only think of things. I could already think of multiple things that would make that thing dangerous. The Perch of the Apex. Oh, it puts you at the po- I guess it turns you into creatures that are at the top of the food chain, maybe? Upon unlocking these secrets, they were able to drive the monsters away from wood, bringing peace at last. With the threats all but eradicated, our forebears forbade any further use of the treasure and enshrined it within the village. As the year passed, we slowly forgot what it was to live in fear, yet as our Struggles faded into memory, stories surrounding the perch of the Apex became legend, the myth. Now, none living are certain of its true power, yet the peace was shattered by a member of the Passage of the Unbound. The villain wheeled his way into our trust, stole, then stole upon my husband the treasure, a poignant guardian, catching him unaware with a terrible blow that left him unconscious. Is your husband alright? He has yet to awaken, so my daughter Tepke, Tepke has set forth to retrieve what was stolen. Unlike her father, she has no skill in the arcane arch and chose the path of the sword. That's why I've been seeking someone with the knowledge she lacks. So the ancient power be unleashed, please. If you can find it in your heart to help, uh, I'll be forever grateful. If it's a mystic artifact, if there's a mystic artifact involved, well, count me in. Oh, thank you, thank you. Now our only clue to the thief whereabout is something he mentioned during his day in our village. He spoke of his desire to bring chains to a place called Razat Han. Just have Vitra eat him. Actually, no, Vitra will get diarrhea from him. That's where Tepec decided to bring her search. So she boarded a ferry bound there by way of Limza Limza, and with her trusted sword and shield close at hand. That's how you'll know her. She agreed to stay in Razad Hall to gather information until aid arrived. I know nothing of the place, but she likely can be found in a marketplace or some such. Please, bring our treasure and my daughter safely home. And I forgot...
what's my currency? I'm next to Hell Well, we're going to Rise of Hell anyway. Before we get anything, we'll go ahead and get some, uh... Oh, wait, no, those are healers. There we go. I'm like, wait, could it be crit? That's a big sword. Oh, are you looking for me? Whatsoever for? Naruto, and you say my mother sent you? I take it she's already explained the details, such as how we know next to nothing of the treasures and its capabilities. We've only the legends passed through our four berries to go on. They speak of a Tori Laudal, of an owl that once terrorized the forest, whose soul is sealed within the perch of the apex. The tales have only become more vague and the mist of time obscured the treasure's origin. Even our village elders remembers not, but ominous warnings uttered by those who once wielded its magics. The master of the apex shall be so soured with good fortune, yet leave only sorrow in their wake. It's clear that despite owing their safety to the apex power, our forebearers revealed it as something to be feared. It must be truly immense. Now, on to the matter of the thief. Even during our brief acquaintances, he may claim his desire to bring chains to Razad Han. Naturally, I started my search here, and have been seeking anyone who has first dissatisfaction with the status quo. Sure enough, I heard stories of a recent arrival, a self-styled savior of Razad Han, who proclaims that he will lead the city to greatness and calls himself the Just Cause. He apparently has taken the burden of personally examining the beast that which beasts which infect the wilds. He made a great soul claim he alone is equal to the task. While he certainly draws a crowd with his bolstering the on watch with morbid curiosity as he sets off into the jungle alone. I realize this could be have nothing to do with our problem, but even the smallest lead must be presumed. I heard he often gives his speeches at the religion, region, I said religion, region small settlements. So, shall we go see this just a car for ourselves? It's decided. I hear 
Yeah, the mall would be a good place to start. Hopefully, we can find our next crumb of a clue. We're in luck. This boy saw the very man we seek. It seems he gave the same grand speech about saving the people, claiming the danger lurked nearby before volunteering forth to combat it alone. Yet the raiding host could not, sim not well stand idle if they truly were beasts afoot, so one of them followed, and all we need to do is pick up the trail. He ran towards the shroud, but you might be able to spot him from Kaja's footsteps. You can see the whole forest from there. Thanks. You've been very helpful. So Naruto, let's head there and see what we can see. Alright. But yeah, there's not much going on right now. Tomorrow we will be streaming the update for Warframe. If it comes out tomorrow. But no, they did say Tuesday or Wednesday, so Wednesday for us. And we'll be doing the five fates and seeing all it has to offer. Now then, let us begin our re our search. Since I've never actually seen the Justica, I would suggest we find the Radio Host Soldier first. They do wear all wear similar armor after all. Oh uh, great, we're doing a little search mission. must be him, but what happened? We better get down there quickly. Not to worry, Naruto, he's unconscious, but otherwise appears unharmed. heard you came here in pursuit of the Justicar. Do you remember anything? Yes, I eventually found him. 
He was confronting the fiend that now lies dead. Oh, it's gonna be one of these missions. Oh, God. I was hoping at least the rest. Why was the one true one that actually had a villainous plan that wasn't just Saturday. The lesser of a Saturday morning cartoon villain was the one I had to do for. Do that one. Oh. The only one that seemed to have like a real like actual evil plan was the tank one. The rest of these are just like Hildebrand adventures. All friend Hildebrand. Oh my god, I'm not even voicing it. Y'all reading it. This is stupidity. I am from the Radiant Hearts. I, if I ran for such meager prey, I would become laughing stock. Uh, how bold to look death in the eye without flinching. Uh, oh, God. quest like this where it's just complete it hurts my brain like these are the quests that hurt my brain this is not what I expected oh my god uh. Well, at least we know. You used to go get checked to see if you have a concussion. I recall one frankly, but I think. By madness. <laughs> as soon as he got away unscathed. Either he did an incredible, or he had it, or whatever he was beseeching to actually answer it. Oh, this is gonna be one of those quest lines. But. No doubt he's long departed from here. First, I'll let's go this fellow back to keep a close eye on him. Head wounds can have a dreadful after effects.
soldier made it his way to Razahan to the formal report, and what an odd report it will be. His account seemed to align with legends of the treasure's power. The wielder escaped unharmed and brought ruin to those around him. Could those following rocks be, have been a freak accident? I'm not so sure. You won't believe it. He came back. This man does not deserve this ominous music. Who came back? The Jessica? Yes, not long after you left. He said he beat up the monster that knocked out a ray here. And he was... Is he really... He got lucky. Maybe he is, maybe he isn't. Like, we, like, I don't even know what their artifact does. It's Well, my mate can't stop talking about him. His mom and dad weren't too happy about that, though. I advise you tell your friend to look for a different role model. But we thank you for telling us what happened. Hmm. Well, there's one less fiend skulking about, I suppose. You may have been simply testing the treasure's capabilities and as far as we know he has yet to use its power to evil ends. I find his motivations a mystery. To steal the perch of Apex by force only to come here you it makes no sense. You heard tales of the death. Many have ventured to Turiolokli to be their victims. Yet the wood Yet here they would be saviors. If he had such no, why did he do such devious deception? What could he be pawning? But that's neither here nor there. He stole from my people, and that misdeed cannot be forgiven. The perch of the apex helped us win peace. By its might, our fair barriers built the foundation of the lives we now lead. Till recently, it stood silent. A symbol of our people, of our pride as a people. It reminded us that we carved out a home within the inhospitable wilderness. Being trusted with its protection is a great honor. I was proud of my father when the elders chose him, so proud to be his daughter. Yet that day when it was stolen, some of the village made their disdain towards him only too clear I couldn't bear it. That's why I must get back to restore my village pride and my father's reputation. There's still so much we don't know about the Justicar, but we have to assume that he's learned to wield the apex predator, the apex power. I can't say whether those falling rocks have anything to do with it, but I won't discount it outright. I'll continue to look into his whereabouts while we still have so many questions, with both of us working together, we'll soon find the answers. No, soon enough. All right. All righty then, we'll go ahead and end it there. And we'll catch up with this maybe on Thursday but for now I've been me you've been you and this has been a live stream and a bye bye